those as opportunities for us to learn a little bit more or go a little deeper with our experiences that we're having on every call every week. Um, yeah, because it should be different for us every week. It shouldn't be the same thing over and over and over again. Um, I'm sort of realizing this right now <laughs> while I'm talking. Um, but uh, I know it's different every week, but sometimes because we do the same sort of process every week, it, uh, you almost expect that it's going to be the same, but uh, it never really is. So if you allow yourself to see how this week's group is different or how your experience of your own um, experience is different, um, it can open up more doors for you. Well, Zarina, you, you put out a post um, that uh, this last week, uh, you were saying about how your home changes when you yeah. have this meeting group. So just even your external environment shifts mm -hmm. when we have these groups. And you've started, you've noticed it at some point. Uh, what point did you notice it? I myself am very, very much calmer after the session. You know, I, I, I come in with the, even with the doubt, uh, am I ready for this? You know, very often I'm like, I have internal struggle and then I know that I'm not in the right place to meet the high vibration of this group. And then I make myself come because I know that I'm going to come out with the right vibration. You know, it is like this. I, I very much feel um, overwhelmed and intention before I come and I'm like, Oh, I'm, I, I can use the time to, to do so many other things, but instead I dedicate it to, to myself also. <laughs> cool. It's my time for mental yoga. <laughs> yoga. <laughs> the real thing too with this is believing you're going to receive answers and clarity because clarity is a really big thing. And if you're really, really in tune with the universe, Somehow mm -hmm. it's going to clarify something. It's going to open up something. It's going to maybe remove a filter or something. You're going to be more accepting to things flowing. So a lot of people, they, they keep in their mind that confusion and just going, no, I'm going to get real clarity. I'm going to really understand the depth of this. And spirituality is about that because the more you believe in these, the more you unlock yourself, the more you allow bigger energies and truth to present itself because there's no resistance and fear and it's, it's a really important thing. And that's why I like this is you learn to trust, you learn to relax because uh, everybody is gifted. Everybody has some sort of empathic or some sort of a gift or ability. Sometimes they're not fully conscious of it, but sitting with strangers with your eyes closed is a really test and, and even for yourself to, well, if I share this information, is it correct? Mm -hmm. I usually don't worry about what flows through. All I know is what I'm seeing. All I know is I can say these things. And a lot of times these things I see has to do with people's futures. And sometimes I blurt out things to people just unintentionally. Like I'll be sitting like one time we went to get uh, some vitamin infusions like through intravenous and we know the girl there. And all of a sudden I just start channeling these messages. It's like, when are you going to leave here and go and start your own business? And she's looking at me snickering and I'm like, <laughs> I, I'm telling her all of this because I'm seeing all this stuff, but I'm not telling her how or when. Yeah, and yeah. I'm presenting something in her mind. Well, maybe it's a possibility and I'm really going to do that. I think it's the same with astrology. When Ian looks at it, he can see some outcomes. So he may say something and if the person is receptive mm. and all of a sudden they will attract and bring that in. And that's where you get that clarity. That's where you get that peace and calm inside and inviting this stuff. Uh, really does something big. It, it shifts so many things. When I sit in the sweat lodges with the, the elders and they sing and they chant and, and I go in there and I have no idea what they're going to do or things. And all I know is when I'm going there, I'm going to receive an answer. I'm going to be shown something. And while I'm in there, all kinds of stuff happens. I come out of there the voices tell me things, whatever they're showing or whatever is needed. And I go through the experience and I just accept it. I don't go into doubt and going, well, maybe it's just my imagination. I don't put my thoughts there. Mm. I always try to consciously accept that fact that 
the universe wants to give you more clarity. If this is really your truest desire, and it's your biggest outcome to influence and change the world or help other people, accepting that really, really helps you because it changes your vibration. And when people sit with you, they feel more peaceful. They're more open, mm -hmm. more accepting of things. One thing I've noticed for myself, and I think Ian is on the same page as me, is that I forget everything that happens when, you know, when they're focusing on me. And in the moment, I'm getting it all. And then when it's all done, yeah. I can't remember what people said for me. Uh, and Joe's like, uh, uh, he's like, it's all there. It's all there. You can access it when, when you need it. So I kind of trust that, right? And then somehow some, someone will bring it up, Mercedes perhaps, because she's got a really good memory. <laughs> remember when so-and-so said this? <laughs> like, oh gosh, right? And it's like, okay, yes. So now I remember it and it comes through um, when, when I need to when I need to access it. It's like I've been given the information, I've been given the answer, and sometimes it's like, well, what's the answer to this situation? And then something happens, right? Uh, outside uh, forces, it's like, you know you have received it. Knowing you have received an answer somehow archives it inside of you that you can access uh, later, and it may come in in just a different way, not as specific as a recording does. Um, but when you, when you tap into that energy field too, it's like, um, like I work night shifts and mm -hmm. I, I get three hours sleep before I come onto these calls and mm -hmm. uh, oftentimes. But when I start into this, there's an energy that moves through me and it's like I have all the energy that I need to do this meditation. I close my eyes to do this focus. It's, I'm not sleepy. I don't feel like I've got to go to sleep at all. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, and it's, it's this, what I would say, an infinite energy source that's all around us. And it's like how to plug in and plug out. Like we do have to be the human beings too, right? And we have our own energy field that we need to maintain or keep healthy and such like that. But there is also this infinite force that's all around us that we can access to. And knowing that you can. Just like looking at Angela, at how grounded she is with... Um, what the world is going on especially around her it's so much closer to her than it is to any of us but yet look at how happy she is and, and how optimistic and how she's seeing this is like this is really cool <laughs> things are changing so yeah i think too uh, a lot of us don't understand that we all have photographic memory but we all use it different yeah. um mm. we all have this capability and we don't really pay attention to how we use it then once we start realizing these things we we start tapping into something bigger and that's even like past lives or there's energy and knowledge and things stored in and through meditation and other things we open doors when we're trusting and allow this part of ourselves to be shown to us and we carry that and and there's different ways of accessing and different ways of learning techniques because it's about growing. And when you're growing this way, it's about helping other people to learn. It's a safe thing to do because this world is superstitious and afraid of all kinds of cultures and beliefs. So allowing yourself to feel peaceful, to venture into that area and explore it is, is one of the biggest things of a healer is to have that safe, safe place for others to, to grow and know that they're just the same as anyone else and we can all be this we can all be masters we can all be all kinds of things but it's just a desire and a belief inside us i do love white and that's the color i like to garden most in <laughs> gardening in white is the best you come out so dirty and you like feel so accomplished and you're like <laughs> <laughs> look at how hard i worked <laughs> yeah yeah. Um, yeah, I, I just want to say that that was a really big truth that, uh, or a big thought that Joe just dropped in there. And, and so often it's this, it is the slide in like knowledge that how he delivers it. Cause when he's channeling it and it's, um, it's just really cool when, you, if you can catch it, sometimes it's so subtle that you don't catch it. And he's like, I gave them their answer <laughs> if they were just listening or like allowing yourself to listen 
um, is like a kind of an art, especially when it comes to this Gemini guy and, um, and how you, you said about if you allow the belief, your belief, um, that it's possible inside mm-hmm. of yourself. It's like, do I believe that it's possible? Like uh, our beliefs are our own and it's totally within our, like our subconscious or it's in our, in ourselves, right? Um, our beliefs. And it's up to us to change those beliefs and question them or, or, or get curious about them. Um, just cause like, even for myself, like I have a, a, a physical health concern or issue and I'm like, I believe it's possible that a person can heal themselves completely. But then I'm like, do I believe that I can do this for myself? And I'm like, whoa, (laughs) shaky ground, (laughs) shaky ground. (laughs) So inside me, there's something there for me to go in. So, um, and the journey is there for me to have, to have my own experience, to see if it's possible or if, you know, to what degree I experience that um, experience. So checking in with your beliefs, um, especially with all the stuff that's going on in the world, right? And, and all the conspiracy ideas we are, are given from the world too. It's like we, uh, our beliefs can go down like a, a rabbit hole if we're, if we're not um, paying attention, I guess. Yeah, something to do with that. So. Yeah, with, with uh, being with Cindy, like she has learned a lot of stuff over the years and for nine, 10 years, I present information. I, I don't really try to push it on her or make her like really do things. I'm always opening doors and she's explored a lot of stuff and looked at a lot of things and it's actually putting that puzzle together and seeing, well, do I really believe this or don't I? And uh, there's sometimes inside us when we're a child, we believe we're undeserving and we carry an energy frequency. And it could be a little frightening. It could be a little scary. So it challenges us to go deeper into our beliefs. Can I go past this and accomplish it? And some of these things we set up when we were children, we didn't realize we made the decision and decided it. So if we can find that belief inside ourselves, we can let go of that. And you'll feel a fear shift or something else change inside you. And you'll open up and you'll allow new energies and new things to flow in. But uh, discovering these things, everybody can discover it and, and learn it. And with Cindy, I really enjoy when she discovers and realizes, like sometimes she gets confused. I'm trying to help her understand things and uh, she gets frustrated. And then one day she's sitting there and she's like, oh, now I get it. And it all comes together and she could see the picture and how everything flows. And then she goes back into sometimes going into frustration because she's trying to force her mind or she's trying to do something and instead of just relaxing and knowing it's all going to open up. It's like when you're ready to read a book, you finally open the book and you start actually reading it and you might put it away for a year and then come back open and then finish the book. Sometimes you do do things over a stage in time and being uh compassionate to yourself because we have different processes and sometimes we push too hard and it's not necessary when that time is right and everything is meant to Mm -hmm. everything seems to open and it just sort of flows on its own so getting frustrated at yourself or other kinds of things is we have a process to go through and everything has a time frame so once you get to a certain point you'll find everything open to go, wow, now I really understand this. And then there's something that wants to take you deeper. So having compassion to yourself is, is an important thing too. You don't always have to push. There's, there's things. And sometimes even when you're healing, it might take a process of a period of time, a couple of months before the energy burns out and then the new stuff comes in, but you're still working and you're still evolving. So knowing that all these things will happen in time and just believing in it. I am reminded of an experience that I had uh, when I was, okay, so here it goes. <laughs> um, when I was around seven or eight years old, um, I, had, uh, I had done well on a math test 
in school or a math assignment in school. And I wanted to show my dad. And I come from a very big family, lots of actions always going on. My dad was on, uh, sitting on the floor looking at the newspaper with my brother and they were looking at something in the sports section. And then I come around the front of them. I remember and I get down on the floor and I'm like, dad, look at what I, I did in math. And then he's like, not paying attention. I'm like, dad, look, look what I did. And then he said, like, stop, just go away for a minute. I'll get to you later. And that in that moment was like, oh, cause I was celebrating my success and he was busy. And so I, I got up, I went down to my room. I climbed up on my bunk bed and I remember like, it's weird how the memory can hold this memory so clear. And I was so upset and I told myself, fine then, if nobody cares, I will not do good math again. And, and then I even thought in my head, like, that's not really a good idea. <laughs> and I remember thinking that as a kid, it's like, it's not really a good idea to say that. And um, I, I, anyways, it worked. <laughs> I was terrible at math, terrible. I kept failing like grade eight math three times, failed it. <laughs> it's like uh I I didn't graduate high school and math was the main one that kept me really low and then uh later on um I tried to go back to school to get my education and every time I came to the math section I would just bomb it so bad it was like always just so embarrassing how bad I would do and I couldn't quite understand that and then in my 30s, when you're talking about like the right time, in the right time, um, I just decided that I would go and get the general education uh, book just to have that certificate or whatever. And I got the big study guide and I'm just like, I don't know how to study. I don't know how to do this. And then right before I'm like, so I didn't study. <laughs> I go to write this, you know, two day exam. And I did this thing and I was like, okay, guys. If you want me to pass this test, you're going to make it happen. And I went into the exam and the, for the math, especially one lady got out and she said, I don't want to do this. And she slammed her paper down and walked out. And I was like, whoa, anyways, it did it all and passed everything. And it was like, wow, you mean I actually did it? And it was like something about the right time. And also, you know, this memory of it, I see the memory and I understand where I was as a kid. And it's like, okay, that's, that's done now. I had the experience of shutting down the door and it's like, and then opening the door. And I remember it was just like a prayer, like, okay, guys, if you want me to do this, make it happen. It's like, a, give it to God, you know, type of thing. And, and, it, and it shifted, it shifted lots for me. So if we can access those memories, of course, there's some that we don't know where they are and hiding inside of us or those beliefs and asking for the help to unravel the belief or to open the doors if it's the right time and giving yourself permission that, okay, maybe it's not the right time to deal with this. You know, when it's right, I'll be ready. So you can get them to prepare you for when the time is right for you to overcome an obstacle such as that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sweet.